Now I just want to arrange this sheet so that way I can get the floor plan, two elevations, and a section on this. What I'm going to do is move the floor plan. Turn off snaps. That's not going to help. Move the floor plan over to this right hand corner. Crop this in. And I can move the title over here under the floor plan. Of course, I need to change this name, so just double click on it. And this is called Cap Locks Floor Plan. The scale. is one quarter inch and when it asks if I want to stack these um, convert to diagonal typically I'm okay with that and that is equal to one foot zero inches and click out so this is what I've typed. Typically, I will move this over to this side. And now this identifies what this plan is. You notice I also have some editing to do on the title block as well, but I'll let you handle that. Next, I would like to have my elevations here. So, since I already have this viewport scaled, what I'm going to do is copy this viewport. Remember, I have to use the copy command in AutoCAD in order to hold on to the um, quality of this particular viewport. So, I can go into the viewport. I'm going to pan down to this elevation here. Click out. I can crop this in if I need to. And position the front view here. Now I'll copy this viewport just below and what I want to do is bring this elevation in. But I see that it's rotated. If you recall the way that we handled rotating these viewports we used a command called MV Setup. This is just one of the many ways of handling a viewport rotation without actually rotating the model space. So what we want to do is type in A for a line and we want to rotate that view. So it automatically selected that. Now we need to know the rotation angle. I'm going to assume uh, counterclockwise I'll try 90. So 90, press enter and that turned out okay. So press enter, enter to end the command and now I can pan this into position and I have my second view. The last view then, let me go ahead and copy this viewport What I would like to do is bring in the elevation. What I can do here is I want to rotate this back. So I'm going to go MV Setup, Align, Rotate, Base Point. I'll just click there. And Angle is 0. So now it rotated it back and this command, go back into the viewport, pan down to where I have this section, and now I would like to scale this. Sections, a good scale for sections is one half inch equals a foot. So, I'm going to type in Z for zoom. Notice that I'm in the viewport. I want to scale this viewport. 
Now, 1 half inch equals a foot. That means 2 times 12 is 24, so I want 124XP. Press Enter, and now it scales it into half inch equals a foot. Let's see if I can get this to fit. All right, that's the size of the drawing. Also, these dimensions will not be used here because those are not the right scale. I can pan this into position, and it looks like it will just fit on my sheet. All right, nothing left here but a little bit of cleanup on the title block. Put these um, titles under each one of these. Remember, this is the front view. This is the left view. And this is a section at a scale a quarter inch equals a foot.